Okay. Well, Professor Zoyman, thank you very much for making the time to be here this morning. Um, we're, we're making these online videos for our younger generation members. Um, and I'd just like to lead off with a question. Uh, I know that you were trained as a fluid mechanicist, uh, and yet you've had uh, over a quarter century of very distinguished career in turbo machinery in both in industry and academia. So what, what turned you on about turbo machinery that, that I think size did. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be honest with you, when I um, returned from the United States to work in Germany after 10 years in the US, I, um, I was looking at several companies. And mm -hmm. there was a broad range from um, uh, chemical industry, uh, automotive, but also turbo machinery companies such as uh, ABB and, mm -hmm. and Siemens. And um, the, um, my future manager um, made a very shrewd decision at the end of the interview. He told the uh, lower level manager who was guiding me through the company, he told him, and now go show him some big pieces. <laughs> <laughs> and that certainly impressed me when yeah. I saw the low pressure stage of a steam turbine. But um, I think a little bit, bit more seriously, what uh, turned me on is one applications. Um, mm -hmm. As an engineer, yeah. I think you want to create. Right. That is what distinguishes us from physicists right. who want to understand. Right. We want to create and um, uh, creating products um, for fluid mechanicists can be a, in, a, in a broad range of applications, but certainly turbo machinery is one of the most challenging applications. Mm -hmm. And I've always been a, an interdisciplinary engineer. I've always okay. had interests in a broad range of topics, and uh, turbo machinery, of course, is the application that takes almost every discipline mm -hmm. in engineering yeah. to its limit. Yeah. And that is a wonderful challenge and has been a wonderful challenge for 10 years in industry and 25 years and, and uh, 15 years in academia. Mm. So you've had careers both in academia and industry. Maybe you can you want to say something about the two in, in comparison against each other? Oh, I think for me it was a, a, a nice uh, complementary experience. Uh -huh. um, I like to lecture and teach on subjects that I have experience in. Mm -hmm. So I feel very fortunate to have had an industrial career mm -hmm. from which I can now draw right. when I uh, define uh, scientific challenges, when I uh, teach students. Um, I also very much enjoyed the rigor of industrial work, not scientific rigor, but economic rigor. Hmm. Um, I think that um, uh, industrial work forces you right. to distinguish very clearly between what matters and what doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. And I think that carries over into academic work. And I'm not claiming that only uh, an industrial career can give you that uh, sense of priority, mm -hmm. but I think it certainly helps. It's one way sure. of obtaining yeah, that yeah, sense you, of you, priority. You can experience that. Thank you.